Hi, I'm Emily, and I'm going to talk to you about your business and your bookkeeping. Most small business owners leverage the use of third-party apps for their payment processing. Be that Venmo, PayPal, QBO Payments, Stripe, or Square, they all link to your QBO account and help make your bookkeeping easier. If you have one of these payment processors, you need to be reconciling those accounts. If your only method of accounting for that income is the amounts that they deposit into your bank account, you're taking a big risk and distorting your bookkeeping, leaving you in the dark. Now, what do I mean by big risk and distorting your bookkeeping? Let me explain. Big risk, you're relying on these companies to get it right. And I am here to tell you that everyone makes mistakes, even these big companies. We have a client that switched processors mid-year while they thought they were all squared away. So we asked that company when they're going to pay our client the $13,000 that they owed. Ever so sweetly, of course. I'm just kidding. I was pretty annoyed they tried to take advantage of my client. Anyways. We quickly provided the entire transaction history of that account, including all their payouts. Then, four days later, my client got paid. So when I say big risk, I mean that you could be leaving your money on the table without even realizing it. And that is the power of good bookkeeping. Now, let's talk about distorting your bookkeeping. If you are simply recording the deposits from Square and coding them directly to sales, your numbers are wrong. Sure, they shake out the same in the end when you're looking at your bottom line, but good business decisions rely on good data. And that way of bookkeeping, my friends, is not providing you with good data. It leaves you looking like you made less than you did. And it leaves you looking like you didn't just pay Square an arm and a leg to use their services. Why is this important? Well, it comes back to good business decisions. Do you want to be able to know the true amount that you sold so you can accurately pay your salesperson based on commission? Or maybe accurately report your gross receipts on your tax return? How about compare your projected revenue to what you actually accomplished? Or, or have a slight panic attack on how much you paid those payment processors. And perhaps you use that panic as motivation to find an alternative. Okay, well, what about to accurately account for the processing fees as deductions on your tax return and avoid any potential explanation to the IRS? Eh, maybe you just want to be able to easily identify any drastic changes in fees because you didn't read their updated terms and of service. <laughs> in the end, good bookkeeping can help you make good decisions and raise any red flags. So my parting words of wisdom to you is this. Don't forget to reconcile all of your accounts, not just the bank and credit card accounts. And as a side note, if you're wondering if your bookkeeper does this for you, ask them. Or stay tuned for more videos that will help you identify a bad bookkeeper.